All right, this is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. Um, mm -hmm. The reason I'm sitting here is because that is what's called an Airstream trailer. You can read that on the front. And other trailers are square. These are not square. They're roundish on the top. And I asked Shirley one day, I said, how many pounds of snow and ice would it, would it take to crush an Airstream? And she just kind of laughed. Because they, they can't, no snow can't stick on that. Now, you could get enough accumulated. If you had heavy ice and then heavy snow, it could damage it the, where the air conditioner is and whatnot. There could be enough buildup, but it would be very, very rare, very difficult. They're round. If there's a stove going inside, it's going to melt off. So and that has a wood stove in it. So there, on eBay, there's one that's, oh my gosh, it's in Missouri already, 55 miles from here. I'd love to buy it. I think it was about 12,000. But anyway, look at them. They're, they're phenomenal traders. Um, I paid $2,000 for a trailer. I bought it from a friend I shouldn't have. Um, and it uh, has a square roof and an air conditioner and all that. And it worked great and everything, but I towed it twice over to the farm I bought and then back here. And it's just so damaged, crushed, that it, it leaks all the time. And the floor is destroyed now, and the roof is destroyed, and the walls destroyed, and everything's... Not everything's destroyed inside of it. It still has the appliances, and it could be rebuilt, but I'm not going to do it. So don't buy a fifth wheel, and don't buy... If you're going to buy a trailer, buy a bumper pull so anybody can pull it with a truck, decent-sized truck. Do not buy a square trailer as a rule. Try to buy an Airstream. They're f they'll last forever. They hold their value like gold. Probably better than gold. And they're just phenomenally efficient, both in summer and winter. Because I've been in it in both. They are really, really good. All right, this is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant.